Hey guys, so this time I decided to make a fire pit bench and it was a pretty easy project. I did it all in just one afternoon. Not a lot of tricky joints or uh, cuts on this one. And I have this one in my backyard so you're probably hearing all the birds buzzing around me but um, you can do this one like I said and, and easily in an afternoon. And in fact I really like the, the way this turned out. I'm, I'm thinking about making a couple more of these. So uh, check out my video of how I did this and as always you can uh, check out my website at woodlogger.com for uh, more pictures and information of how I made this. So for the rough cuts I decided to use my uh, miter saw just for really all my cuts. The boards are small enough that uh, you know it worked out really well and uh, you know it's pretty fast just to uh, knock it out this way. So to start with my uh, my bench, I'm going to work on my sides, and uh, I'm going to kind of just quickly mark my sides so I can figure out where I'm going to uh, put a uh, recess screw into the side. Got one done. Let me get the other one. And honestly, you could just eyeball this, but I'm. I'm a little nuts about trying to get things right. Maybe that kind of gives me a frame of reference of where I can start um, drilling uh, pilot holes into the sides. So the brackets are the the sides rather are going to be um, held together with just screws, and uh, I'm going to build kind of a small frame, and I think it'll come together nicely here in a second. So I'm using a 1 8 bit, 1 8 inch bit, and I'm drilling about a quarter of an inch into uh, to the wood. And my sides started. What I need to do now is drill into. sides. I'm actually using two and a half inch deck screws to hold this together. thought about using glue but honestly I think it'll hold up just fine. That's pretty good. Okay, well I have my frame done, and I'm just going to repeat the same process and uh, do the other one here. So I've got my basic frame done. What I've got to do next though is I've got to actually sort of cover up the outside of the sides. And in the plane that I'm using, they actually decided to do it more of a decorative way um, of having the boards go at an angle all the way across. And that's, that's a great look. I decided for mine that I just wanted to do a more simpler approach and just go straight up and down. Um, I like the lines, kind of the way that looks. So, and then the next decision that you have to make is, do you want to have the the sort of more finished, sanded side of your cedar facing out, or do you like the uh, maybe the more rough side? For outdoor projects, I definitely like the the outside look. Um, that's just a preference though on my part. So, uh, we'll uh, we'll do the rest of that right now. So here's my frame, and what ultimately it's going to look like is something like this on the outsides. Now I will say on these out two boards I actually cut the uh, width of the board a little bit uh, about a 3 16 of an inch off so that they would fit just so. But that's roughly what it's going to look like. Now I will actually put um, kind of a frame if you can imagine going across the top and the, the sides and the bottom so it'll be it'll look a little bit nicer when it's all done. But to start off with I'm going to uh, drill pilot holes for all my boards and then start uh, assembly.
Okay, well I've got my basic outside frame done. Um, I need to go back and fill in uh, the rest of the other screw holes that I have. And I need to build another one of these as well. And uh, I used one and a half inch um, screws to anchor these down. And uh, I chose to do the uh, maybe the more rougher side of the cedar on the outside. And now really uh, I'm gonna work on the frame that kind of goes over that. And this is sort of decorative as well. But it'll also help sturdy it up a little bit. And it's going to look something like this. And I'll do the same thing with pilot holes and I'll drill some countersink holes to uh, hide some of this in. So I'm going to do that next. Yeah, I got my outside frame done. And I think it looks pretty good. You notice I don't actually put a, a board across this one. This will actually be the top of the bench. And when that happens, the uh, boards will lay against the top of that, so you'll never actually see these screws. So next up is I need to attach a cleat to the top of this for the uh, boards to uh, actually sit on and be attached to. Okay, well I have my sides pretty much done now. I've got, I went ahead and attached my cleat at the top here. And you can see that this is where the, the bench will actually lay down on this part right here. And the only thing that I have left to do really is just sort of add a front sort of decorative edge here. If you can imagine, this will actually sit on the outside of the bench. This is kind of how it'll look from the, from the front. So, to do this, I'm going to do the same thing that I've done on all my other um, holes. I'm going to do uh, drill pilot holes and um, sort of counterbore those in a little bit so that, so that they're not very visible. So I've got both of my sides done now. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and put, kind of tried to lay them out. And you can see I've got this one right here. It's actually upside down. And I've got my bench top on the bottom. And the reason why I did that is so that I can attach both of the sides. Um, there's a cleat right here. And I'll, I'll counterbore two holes for each board. And um, attach the sides to the top. And I, I wanna, one thing I, another thing I did was I used this uh, shelf board as just kind of a spacer to help me... Um, be able to line this up a little bit better. So uh, I'm going to go in and uh, counterbore my holes and go ahead and attach my bench top to the cleats. So my bench is coming along pretty good. One of the things I wanted to do was use a quick corner to get a mark and then actually uh, use my jigsaw to just sort of create a rounded edge around it. I'm going to do that next. So I have my bottom shelf laid out pretty much the way I want it. There's just going to be three um, two by fours going across it and I've spaced them out about one and a half inches um, apart and this is actually going to, it's going to sit in the bottom of the bench and uh, this will ultimately be what holds the firewood um, if I decide to use it for that. So I'm going to do the same technique that I've been doing throughout the whole throughout the whole build. I'm just going to countersink. Um, this time I'm going to use two and a half inch screws. So I've got my shelf all built. It's um, assembled and really all, the last thing that I have to do now is just uh, install the shelf right into the bottom of the bench. And you can see I've got my shelf here. I'm going to use the uh, same technique that I did for all the others. I, I countersunk my hole here. The um, shelves are going to sit right below. And I used a spacer block that I'm sitting up right here just to, right here just to kind of show uh, I'm going to use that for spacing. So I'll set the shelf right on top of that and then just attach it to the, uh, the other 2 by 2s And uh, it's a pretty simple process.
Okay, well I have my bench all done and it, it turned out pretty good. Um, I've got my bottom shelf below, which is where uh, I'll store my firewood. And uh, on top, you know, I've got room for at least two, maybe three people to sit up here. Really was a fun project. It was uh, something you can do in an afternoon, uh, maybe two afternoons to be, <laughs> if you have kids like I do. So uh, if you want to see more pictures of what I did and how I made this, check out my website at woodlogger.com.